shoes. I love it. <laughs> what, those loaves of bread aren't, uh, <laughs> they're not like insulated loaves of bread? <sighs> anyway, hello, welcome. What's going on? Hi, how are you? <clears throat> welcome to the live stream. Uh, it is going to be another fun time where we're going to be playing some more Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'm glad to have you. I'm so happy that you're all here hanging out this wonderful evening, shivering on top of this crazy cold mountain. Wow. Yes. Hello. Hi. What's up, Martin? What's going on? Sasha, J-Mac, Alana. Hi, Kelly. What's up, Panda Pop? Kalia over here, too. Anaf, what's up? Azumaneta. Uh, Zoom, Zoominator. Yeah, that's your name. Uh, what's up, Chrissy? Dawn? Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> hi. Laney's here. Uh, ladies here. What's up? Ho, Adam. What's going on? Caroline? All right. You guys ready to get the show on the road? Show me, show me some big hype in the chat. Um, if you haven't already shared the live stream, please do so. We got a lot of uh, a lot of fun stuff happening on today's episode. We're gonna we're gonna quell a frenzied noble, like it's our job, quelling frenzied. Hold on, hold on, and Z frenzied nobles, like it's our job. Come, uh, join us here. Bing. All right, yeah, we're good. <laughs> All right, so um, I just tweeted that out. If you guys follow me on Twitter, go ahead and uh, retweet that. If not, uh, cool, let's go. Hey, what's happening? Hi, welcome. All right. I am ready. Let's go. Woo. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. We have Braviary, and we're going to go flying down to Avalug's legacy. We're going to go calm him down. Avalug. Man, how do you guys know about Avalug? You know, that was a pretty underrated Pokemon back in the day. Avalug, really high on special, or really high on defensive stat. Um, but my Pokemon are not ready for this battle. Oh well. Let's figure it out. <laughs> All my Pokemon are knocked out from the previous battle. I did not heal them. Uh, your Arc Phone is beeping. Yes, it is. Dad? Oh, here's a piece of Eternal Ice. Great. Oh, man. Uh, Avalug loves eating ice. Hmm. Wahaha, it's Garrick. Yo, look at this guy. He made it up here. At last, the summit is conquered. Oh, he's my hero. You know, <clears throat> he's great. I love his blue facial hair. I love his blue chest hair, too. I think that's what that is. Maybe it's a blue tattoo. I don't know. And I see you made it, too. I don't know. Yeah, that's some crash or wake energy right there. Flew down to this place and uh, obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? Don't battle me. Okay, so here, we gave him the eternal ice. I do have respect... Uh, I, uh, I do have to respect the effort that you put in. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my Lord Avalog. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. Now, don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Till next we meet. Alright, I'm gonna jump off just like him. Watch. Who? Not. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? Um, anyway, here's Ice Peak Arena, right? Here's the arena's approach. Uh, Slumbering Lord of the Tundra. Yeah, we gotta go right here. But I need to go heal my Pokemon. We need to go do that because uh, we took a lot of damage in those battles. So we're just gonna rest right over here. <clears throat> and we're gonna do it. Okay, so now that we are there, we can fly all the way over to the arena approach, and this is great because you know what? We don't have to worry about Braviary or, I'm uh, sorry, we don't have to worry about our other ride Pokemon. We just come over here, fly all the way up whenever we need to, glide all the way down, and then we are set. Look at this. Look at this fast travel now. It's so much better. So remember earlier I was saying, hey, you know, don't spend so much time collecting all the Pokemon in every single area. 
because you want to wait until you have all the tools at your disposal, which is going to be exactly this. You have all the ride Pokemon now, and now we have even better wing balls, which is perfect. And here we are. Hey, what's up? It's Machoke. Hey, dude. Are you level 10? Yeah. Oh, I don't. What else am I left on him? Number you've caught? Times you've uh, defeated with a psychic move? I mean, I guess. He's pretty docile. I don't want to. But I guess I'm here. <laughs> Let's just do it. I mean, this Machoke might destroy those people that are over there. Um, yeah, we're going to go uh, a strong style extra sensory. Someone please remind me to put Hypnosis on this Pokemon. I need to do that. Alright, alright, here we go. <clears throat> oh, why, if it isn't Abdallah, what a pleasure finding a familiar face or any face in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to bring Garrick uh, an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalug. What do you say, interested in a bit of gossip? Uh, not really, actually. I don't like gossiping. Oh, have some mercy. Can't you see I'm dying to tell you what I've learned? Well, I'll tell you anyway. Your choices don't matter. So, Avala, yes, the fifth of Hisui's nobles. That he is. And uh, you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with char uh, chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles. Uh, and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the Avalug of old could be up to a hundred feet tall. Doesn't that seem too big to take on? Oh, you'll be alright. You just have to eat some sword caps, then give uh, your training your all. Nothing better for building muscle than that. Onward, now to the arena. The double, like... What are those? That mullet? It's like a double mullet? Ugh. Anyway, yes, uh, I, I did want to see Avalog, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. Later, Volo. Wow. Dude, he's got like a double mullet. He's cool. You wish you had hair like him. That's sparkling. Wait, I can put Hypnosis on him right now, right? He has that in his moveset? Yeah, he does. It's great. Forget Calm Mind, man. We're in. Anything else? And you got Shadow Ball, which is better than Hex. Uh, Hex is what? For um, doubled with status conditions? Yeah, I'm not causing any status conditions over here, and it's only 65 base power versus 80. Oh, I'm in. See you later. Uh, Calm Mind, Astonish, Hex. Good. This is perfect. What a good moveset. I love it. I love this golden balloon. What a good Pokemon we caught. Ah, that full odds shiny was real. Anyway, moving on. Okay. This guy's fast. He literally, in a blink of an eye, climbed all the way up here. Uh, so, we're to quell Avalog, as you wish. In the end, the strength of your feelings uh, won out. Or maybe... Your real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better get to uh, work making some of the bombs using that eternal ice. I've heard how they are made and work, uh, and with muscles like mine, it'll only be a moment's work. Squat boy. Wow, he's going to make those quick. And there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalug, then walk on. The path lies before you. But know that Avalug will hurl chunks of ice at you without uh, without batting an eye. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. I'm good, thanks. I'm an expert in the field of all things quelling. <clears throat> okay, cool cutscene. Get ready. You've never seen an Avalug before, have you? Let alone one that's maybe 100 foot tall? I don't know about that. Okay, that's actually insane. Avalug's legacy. He was just chilling underneath the ground and we were on his back. Whoa. 
Yo, dodge it through these icicles. Whoa, yeah. Wow. Oof! Ow, dodged way too early. I ate that missile. Yikes. Wow, a little ice beam. Send a Pokemon to do battle. Go you! Why did I bring my balloon? Okay, or not. Or yeah. <clears throat> Show Avalog your power, balloon. You got You got one shot at this, man. It's a, it's a strong style mystical fire. Not enough. Okay, he's gonna strong style ice go crash or something. Mountain Gale. <gasps> Done. Balloon's gone. Oh my gosh. Well. Uh, Decidueye's coming out here. Uh, we got some super effective Leaf Blade and Triple Arrows. I don't know, I just need your crew balloon out there. I was thinking that this is going to be a, um... I was thinking that he was going to be a... Just a solid Ice type, but he's a Rock type also. So, fighting is four times super effective, which is so good. So we got Triple Arrows over here. We're going to give it the hard Triple Arrows. Done! See a Whoa! Wait, 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 wait! Um... His defensive stat is through the roof, that's why. You need a special attack. Mountain Gale, I'm done. This guy is no joke. Um, give me... A Water Pulse from Vaporeon is gonna bail out the day. That's just what it is. <clears throat> I should have done that from the beginning. Always choose Vaporeon, hello. Alright, now that he's down, we can throw some bombs at him. Uh, rapid fire. Back up a little bit here. He's at half health. Oof! Wow, he's doing both? Ow, I did not see that. Oh my gosh, I might lose! Now he's got like icicles on the floor. Whoa, 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 I might lose. I actually lost. Wow, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow, dude, Avalog rocked me. Unbelievable. Oh, Avalog, Avalog, Avalog. I'm just tired. I can be Avalog without taking a single bit of damage, don't worry. Dude, I just got owned by this guy. The invincibility frames were not in my favor, like, at all. Avalog destroyed me! He's a hard, he's a hard noble to beat. Like, Cleaver was easy compared to this guy. Whoa! Gosh, those missiles just come out of nowhere. Dude, Volo wasn't kidding. Dude fires missiles. Oh, that was terrible. See, I'm like, I'm trying to get him so fast. I got frozen? I didn't, I got frozen and I didn't even get the Pokemon battle in. Wow. And you don't heal, like you have a certain amount of, you have a finite amount of HP for this battle too. Let's 
What's he yelling for? I'm throwing these really far, by the way. Well, they're gonna catch up to me. Yeah, they're gonna catch up to me. Oh my gosh! Avalog! Whoa, okay. Oh, spikes on the floor! <laughs> Dude! Wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay, dude. Uh, come on. It's not hard. Avalug's not hard. Avalug is not hard. I just gotta stop trying to maximize this. Just play the game. Play the game, man. But you know what? Um, it's kind of cool that there is a little bit more difficulty on this. There's a lot more things to dodge. There's a lot more things to just be mindful of. Don't get hit by his Ice Beam or else you're frozen. You can't send out a Pokemon. Whoa, dude! Always! Every time, guy! Wow, he just like ice missiles. Boom. Okay, so I need to not get hit by this. And we're going Vaporeon, man. I don't even care. Okay, let's play. <clears throat> okay, Vaporeon, get ready. Uh, yeah, let's do it. This is a super effective move. It's a water pulse. Yo, I'm out of the way. I got hit by my own water pulse. Vaporeon, easy. It's a one hit KO. Now he takes a step back. Gotta charge him up even more. Those missiles are so bad. Dude, I pressed the Y button. You even heard me. Okay, so he's making a wall, a wall of spikies. So you can't, you can't dodge infinitely there. Like, you have to dodge a little earlier. Oh, he gets two hits because of that. I'm not going to eat these spikes. I'm going to dodge right over that, this guy. Come on, Vaporeon, finish this guy off. Go! We're done. We literally have one hit left. He's very hard. Alright, do it, Vaporeon. Show him how it's done. With a super effective water pulse on his paper-thin special defensive stat. And we're gonna throw these just like this. And Avalon, you're done. Thanks, guy. Woo! That was hard! That was real hard. All right, so those of you guys uh, getting ready to fight Avalug, there is a little lesson for you. He was hard and yeah, but he looks cool. Look at that. He's like rocky and he's icy and none of my Pokemon fainted either. Vaporeon, MVP. So good. <clears throat> You receive the Icicle Plate from Avalug via Mind Transfer. Or you just like mentally slipped it into your pocket. No idea how that works. Garrick, sir, you needn't look quite so downcast. But seeing mighty Avalug quelled and by such a, a slight child, a child that fell from the very sky, is this Abdallah boy some kind of monster in disguise? He is no monster. He's the one who risked his life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffering nobles. Abdallah, Garrick cares for the Pearl Clan with all of his heart and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. 
So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your Galaxy team could cause our people to flag their devotion, uh, flag in their devotion to Mighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Hey, Rita. I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. Abdallah has so much to teach us. Uh, he's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife uh, so long as our Pokemon are with us. He, he's made me want to help Galaceon realize greater strength as well and to see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Arita. I knew you could pull that off, Abdallah. Hey, there he is. You quelled every last frenzied noble, so is that space-time rift going to start closing up now or what? <clears throat> There's little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now, even though if it's the uh, rift that does, uh, that does start spinning out more of that strange lightning, uh, we should still be alright as long as we got Abdallah. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have him at our side. You know something, Arita? We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you Pearl Clan folk aren't all that bad in my book. Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, uh, I say we pay a grim old Commander Kamado a visit and uh, see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. All right, Commander Kamado. Uh, yeah, let's go crack a smile with Kamado over here. 14 Pokemon to catch. Yeah, yeah. Report these findings over here. Doesn't that look like a shiny uh, rufflet? It's like golden, but it's not, unfortunately. Oh, it seems that you made some new observation. Let's have a look then. Hmm, I see. Most illuminating. Here we go. 370 points, not enough. All right, uh, let's go to the village and report back to the commander. That's pretty good. It's a fun time, man. It's a fun time here in the neighborhood. Here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got to go run past Ginter, see if he's got anything good for us. I don't, know if, I don't know if I have any good money to buy his stuff either. What do you got today, buddy? A grain cake? No, nah, man, you could take your 2,000 bucks. No way. No way. Okay, sweet. We're gonna go all the way upstairs. Oh, Baggins wants my money. He wants me to give him more bag space. I'm not gonna do it, Baggin. Each of the Pokemon Nobles became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befells us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Rift-born helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself with the wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget, the Survey Corps' work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. All right, so we finished the Slumbering Lord. Yay. Now we get to go see your favorite NPC, Benny. And what do you guys like? What was, what was that guy's name? Melly? Oh, Benny and Melly are the worst. Uh, thanks for this nice, sizable helping of Potato Mochi, Benny old chum. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. I'm looking at the size of Laventon's head. Just now, I'm noticing that. It's twice as big as Akari's head. <laughs> Having the nobles all quelled puts a grave threat to rest. Now it's time we focus on our survey work. Though we still can't let our guard down around regular wild Pokemon, of course. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalug needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. Yeah, someone might have been under attack uh, by some frenzied noble this very moment if Abdallah hadn't come falling out of the sky to us. I still wonder, though, just what is the space-time rift anyway? 
and what will make it finally go? Wait, if the rift were to vanish, would that leave Abdallah stranded here? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and uh, find a solution, I've no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, Abdallah. Now then, tomorrow is soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget uh, what we've got our sights on. Nothing less than a completed Pokedex. That's right, we'll get it done, with Abdallah in the lead and me as the Valiant Assistant. Assistant? Come now, Akari, don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, thanks for that, Professor. Then I guess I'd better eat my fill and get plenty of energy for another long day tomorrow. Laventon's got a huge head in that little winter hat. Where is he from? What's his deal? Do 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 What was that? Mission disaster looming. Okay. Um, yeah, hello? Oh, we're here. We are here. Abdallah. Disaster is looming. Yo, that rift is going to take over. What do you think is going to happen? Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring out from the rift in space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red. Oh, gosh. I've word from the commander. Yes, you do. Uh, you're to report to his office at once. Okay, I guess we're here. Huh. Uh, the way the sky has changed, it's ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There's a more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy. It struck the night that Abdallah fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Abdallah? Uh, a Survey Corps member? Indeed. You've done all I ordered. But that does not answer the question of who you really are. You came from the Rift, as did the Lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Abdallah has wronged us. Exactly, and besides, do you really think he's got some sort of fearsome power? Uh, it'd take uh, more to make all this happen. Uh, let me ask you in turn, can you prove beyond a doubt that he's free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee he is who he says? Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? But that's... No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Abdallah supposed to do then? He'll be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster but not as a member of Galaxy Team. He remains a suspect unless he can clear his name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. Ta-da! And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the Galaxy Team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. 
No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond a doubt. Is that clear, Silene? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Abdallah? Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That is why I've chosen to let you walk out of here rather than clap you in chains. Wow, clap you in chains. What's gonna happen? We're getting kicked out of town? You're to be expelled from the village? What? Why? Orders are orders. Let's go. Shame. The walk of shame. Oh, shame. Scary. Look at all the whisperings. Rezu, come on. You know me. Oh, you're sad for me, though. What are you saying? Can it really be true? Come on. I bought some clothing from you. No, I didn't. The walk of shame. Oh, shame. How could anyone do such a thing? How did they hear what happened behind closed doors? I guess we should have expected that from a stranger. What did you just say to me? How'd they hear what happened behind closed doors? That You can't just blame me. We can take it from here, ma'am. All right, Russ. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort him from the village and to the Fieldlands camp. I'll also see him off. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Fine, then. I'll mark you down as bound for the Fieldlands camp. Safe travels. Dang. Get expelled. And all of the work that I've done for these people. I can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on his own orders when you quelled the frenzied nobles. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable. And, might I add, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You will only cause Abdallah more pain if you're driven out as well for defending him. However, there are others who might offer help. Uh, you've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adam and Orarita might take you in. Though, I'm afraid they've both already returned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you could try to go find Leon first? He's likely to be at Grand Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I will ensure you have all you need to complete the survey uh, that the commander tasked you with. If I might offer my advice, in this life you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. Dang, that's true. That's not just a line in a Pokemon game. That's real life. Silene's the best NPC. You can't change my mind. Uh, what of the dream uh, I first shared with you on the Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? That dream simply won't come true without you. Dang! Okay, okay, we gotta go find Leon. We can switch up our Pokemon if we want to, but we gotta go find Leon. He's over at Grand Tree Arena, but that's a great, a great stopping point. Wow. Insane. Okay, so we got kicked out of the town. The commander hates our guts because he thinks that we're the ones that caused it. We can't prove it wrong, right? Maybe it is. I have amnesia. I don't remember what happened. Maybe I do have the power to bolt lightning out, right? Anyway. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. What do you think Leon's going to say, right? Do we have to find Irida and Adamin to have them bail me out? Oh my gosh, so much is happening right now. It's just a lot of lore, so anyway.
We'll see you on the next one, yeah? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm excited. Where's my water? <laughs> I'm excited. I'll go get my water really quick. Okay, so predictions in the chat. Those of you guys that haven't seen the ending already. Uh, predictions, what do you think will actually happen right now? And who should we side with? I, I mean, who should we... Who is our favorite, Adamin or Arita? I honestly like Arita a lot. I think she's really cute. So I'll be right back. It's time for Arita. We're going to do it. Okay, let's do this. Let's go clear our name. Let's find out our hidden ability. Uh, you're gonna end up pressing like the ZL button and then you're gonna be like shooting lightning bolts and you're gonna frenzy all the Bidoof, right? All the Bidoof that are like right over here in Starly, that's exactly what's gonna happen next. How did you predict that? Press the ZL button, lock on, and then lightning bolt, lightning bolt. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. Good to see you. Hey, what's going on, Caitlin? Oh, uh, what's happening, Phil? Hello, Jeff Jefferson. How are you? Thanks for uh, enjoying the content. Absolutely. Here it is. Here it is. It's time. It does matter what clan you pick. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll tell you all about it later. In another exciting episode. Let's go. All right. It's time. It is absolutely time. Let's go. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Today we are going to go through and, wow, we're going to go clear our name over in the a Grand Tree Arena. The sky is falling and we got blamed for it. You, what in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in Isui could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could come from that rift was disaster. Uh, never mind then, you kid. Is that really all you came to say? Look, you needn't try to put on a brave face. Uh, you've been a help to the Pearl Clan, and we know what kind of person you are. Though, it must be said, for every sympathetic ear you might find there, you may also find a detractor who fears your presence. I truly do wish that I could repay you for quelling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that, but there's nothing I alone can do for you. Warden Mai might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You'll most likely find Mai at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Isui, there is a place for you as well. So Warden Mai, okay, let's go. Uh, that's going to be at, uh, this is, uh, where is the Warren Bridge? Yeah, it's right over here. Okay, so I can actually warp over to this. We're gonna go over to Heights Camp and then we're just gonna fly on down to that bridge which is exactly right here. Okay, we're looking for the pin, looking for the pin. Pin is over there, perfect. All right, and look at us having the ability to fly in Obsidian Fieldlands. We can go catch whoever Pokemon we want now. We have all the power. But it's not about catching Pokemon in this episode. So there's that. Sorry, Geodude. I got work to do. I'm gonna geo fly. Oosh. Ouch, and get hit. <laughs> Ouch. That hurt. I love Mai and her little munchlax. I love this. My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. Uh, you don't know what brought this about, do you? Uh, I'm trying to find out. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all of this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy team if things went badly. I think you would regret that just as much as anyone. 
The great word here took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but forgive me, I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves, solves everything. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. Yeah. Who's gonna help me? Forever alone, man. Who's that? Hi! What are you doing here? Wow, okay. Oh, look! That kind of cheers you up, right? You're just kind of thinking, hey, you know what? No one likes you. You're all alone. Everyone's your enemy. But Pokemon seem to accept you, okay? Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Speaking of strange events following us, found you at last, Abdallah. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. It seems you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how uh, poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. But not to worry, there are still corners of the Hisui region where, you can, uh, where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that'll be the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. All right, bail us out. We're going to join the Ginkgo Guild. Here we are. I know, I know, it's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Disaster looming. Speak to the person who dwells here at the retreat. Who dwells here? Shirking your work to come pester me again. Even beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kogita. Uh, but I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hisui's myths and legends. No, Mistress, thank you. Just Kogita. And this is? Why, Abdallah is the man of the hour. He's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one. It seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. A you duty? What do you got? What's your job? Indeed, I'm a guide to you, lost one, for the task of uh, preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There is much to be told. Kogita. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable, innumerable other dimensions. In, which, in one such realm, far and farther still from ours, dwells almighty Sinnoh. Uh, who's clans? Pearl clan? Sinnoh? Diamond clan? Sinnoh? Which one? The expanse from antiquity to eternity and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from here, uh, from the here and the now into the future. While space yawns all encompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? Yeah, they're inseparable, and you can't do that. Time and space, they go together. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one, here is what you must do. Hisui holds three lakes of great importance, Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. At each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials, each uh, 
will set you and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old world words and uh, what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of the truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? I will. I'm going to get the red chain. And... Uh, there is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Dad? You can see the location of three lakes. Dude, I don't know where these lakes are. Mistress Kogita's got a lovely workbench here. If you need any materials, I'll be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. Um, yeah, what about the pastures? Oh, that's a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that indeed? Oh, I know that cry. Oh, what's that cry? Have we now lost a Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. How can I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, Abdallah. Okay, uh, yeah, so there's that. We gotta go do some Trials of Lakes. If it isn't Abra, where did you teleport from, little fellow? And it's got a letter, a letter addressed to you, Abdallah. You take a closer look at the letter. To Abdallah, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilife Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an Adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silene. Oh, she's the best. She's absolutely the best. Look at that. An Abra. There was only one NPC that had an Abra. Good tidings from the letter then, yeah? Uh, it's a secret. I'm not telling you. Now then, so we're to visit the Three Lakes. It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It would be uh, wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Uh, quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a, a consummate guild merchant. Oh, here it comes. I've managed to reassure my people for now. The Wardens are keeping close eye on their nobles, too. It seems all quiet for the moment. And so, here we are. But still, uh, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relations would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, uh, but without drawing attention, so it'll be just one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. Uh, though the answer should be obvious. Okay, so right now we have an option of choosing Diamond Clan or Pearl Clan. Who would you choose and let me know why? Yeah, this one's going to be pretty interesting. All right, do we choose Irida or do we choose Adamin? Wow. Of course you'll choose me. I was the one who got you what you needed when you first set out to quell Cleaver. You and I made his bombs together. Mm, I choose you, Pikachu. I need to get over. Adamin. Obviously you'll choose me, right? Who gave you that Celestica flute in the first place? That's right, this strapping young man. Uh, bum, ba, da, bum. who is it going to be? It's such a hard choice. You got to choose one. Why? Why? Why do I have to choose one? All right. We're going to go with Pearl. Of course, you'll choose me. That's right. We will absolutely choose you. You helped me out with Cleaver. And you were there. You were there. You did all the work with Lena and the Arcanine. You were there. All right. I choose you, Arita. Just what I would expect of you, Abdallah. You made the right choice. You won't regret it. So then, the leftover leader will... Leftover? Think again. Abdallah trusts me enough to leave a tough job... Uh, leave the tough job up to me alone. I'll be keeping an eye on the commander, so I can let you all know if anything happens. Of course, of course. As the lucky chosen one comes with us uh, to the lakes, we can fill you in on the details as we go. Well, the first task will be to decide which of the Hisui region's uh, three Great Lakes to visit first. But yes, we should get moving. 
uh, the commander would only get wind of it, and it would only make things worse. I'll meet you at whichever lake we choose. All right, Arita, you and Abdallah, well, you two do what needs doing. The Trial of Lake Verity, cool. We can go do that one. The Trial of Lake Valor. Ooh, it's already here. And the Trial of Lake Acuity. Okay. We got Irita hanging out with us today. Yeah. Uh, where will you be heading? Uh, we're going to go... Ooh, look at this. Look at this outbreak of Sligu. Oh, I want a Sligu outbreak. Oh, I want a shiny Sligu. Where do we want to go? Um, I, I guess we're going here. What are the odds of you finding a Sligu outbreak? Slim to none, man. Slim to none, man. Okay, uh, moving on. We're going to go over to Lake Verity right over this way. Uh, so we're going to mark it with a pin. We're going to go do Verity, and we are golden. So it should be fun. We have the ability to fly. So we're going to fly straight on over. So that's a very good observation. You are going to get this option to choose your teammate, right? Your, I chose Arita, so I went with Pearl. Uh, if you chose Adamin, you went with Diamond. And yes, that absolutely changes the course of the ending of the game. So keep that in mind. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it does. There, there, it does have consequences. Uh, they say this lake actually used to be a volcano, then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water, and so Lake Verity was born. It is protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. Uh, it was when Mesprit took flight that people uh, first learned the joys of sorrows and living. Or, uh, that's how the old tales go anyway. Uh, who's beeping over here? Hello? Okay. Open sesame. That cave, it, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that arc phone the professor was going is that the arc phone the professor was going on about? Uh, what surprises wait within, I wonder. Mistress Kogita seemed uh, quite intent that you uh, would have to prove yourself to three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. Okay, well, let's do it. Enter the cave, and let's knock some stuff out. Who's here? Mesprit? The air feels somehow tense in here. Oh, hello. Hi. A menacing Pokemon stands before you. You and your Pokemon quell Hisui's nobles. You can handle any battle, Abdallah. Uh, not this one. Let's go. Hello, Gudra. Wow. Okay, okay, it's Gudra. Go Decidueye. Now, this Gudra is the Hisuian form of Gudra. Gudra is normally a dragon type. Uh, but now this dragon type shares another... Um, another typing. It shares another typing, and that other typing is going to be... Um, it's going to be steel type. So if you take a look at this right over here, you can see that he is a steel dragon. So we can get ground fighting, and that's it. Ground and fighting, yeah? Well, I get two attacks now because he got a free shot on me. So I'm going to take my two hits. Here's one. Oh my gosh, that's not nearly enough. Oh no, his defensive stats got lowered. So I can do the exact same thing. But I can do a strong stance, and then I win. Boom. See you later, Gudra. Nice to meet you. Easy. So if you had a good fighting type Pokemon or a ground type, you are golden against that battle. Yo, welcome. What's going on, peeps? Hey, it's curious, but when I watch you and your Pokemon battle, I feel as if there's no obstacle that can be overcome if people and Pokemon work together. Now, let's see about the Pokemon of the Lake. 
You feel a mysterious presence. Ooh, who could it be? Who could it be? Oh my gosh, there it is! Hey! What's up, Mesprit? Hi! Hello? If you saw a Mesprit right in front of you, a legendary Pokemon, what would you do? Your emotions. Share them with me. They're yours. Master. I can only imagine how it must feel to speak directly with a Pokemon like that. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Um, bewilderment. Yeah, these were my feelings. Mesprit is a, uh, you know, one of the Lake Trio that focuses on any emotions. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Uh, it was very heartening. Very heartening. A little bizarre, too. Actually, all the above work. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? Uh, well, I mean, it's a wide world. It's gigantic. What did you feel when cast out of the Galaxy team? Life is complicated. I accepted it. I think life is life, life is very complicated. I mean, we got accused of causing all this stuff. We gotta be honest, right? Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. All right, Masperit, way to go. What are we getting? What are we getting? It's a present. Sweet. Mesprit's plume. Okay, Mesprit's plume. I like that. All right, let's do it. I know that Pokemon spoke with you, yet the words did not reach my ears. It's mysterious, but I suppose when dealing with someone who fell from the sky, it's only natural to encounter mystery. Uh, next, onto Lake Valor and Lake Acuity. Okay, um, yeah. Let's go Lake Valor and Lake... Oh gosh, I gotta walk outside. Whoop. Okay, that was pretty intense. Having an entire conversation with the legendary Pokemon all in our head. Talking about feelings? Yikes. I guess we gotta report back to this guy instead of warping back to camp. Looks like that worked out well, Abdallah. I must say, you know an awful lot about Hisui, Volo. I suppose a merchant like you sees all sorts of things in their travels. That's right. Uh, you could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose, I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. Same goes for me. Our clan settled at the very spot where our four bears once held Almighty Sinnoh, but I have never seen Almighty Sinnoh for myself. Uh, weighty matters to ponder for sure, but we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kogita's home? Uh, no, I'll stay here. I'm good. <laughs> I don't need to go back to her. Uh, then we'll head, uh, we'll go ahead and see you there when you join us. Alright, deal. Let's get out of here. Okay, so now that that area is done, uh, I'm gonna quickly go to bed. We're gonna go over to the next lake, which is going to be in, I don't know, Crimson Mirelands, maybe? Where's the professor? Oh, wow, not here. I'm used to talking to the professor in order to warp out. Oh, I, I guess I am going to go back to the ancient retreat because I got to re report back to her. Yeah, okay, so you were supposed to click on that. Interesting. Ah, Mesprit's plume. So the legends uh, told it true. Then the red chain must be real as well. I beg your pardon, Kodit Kogita ma'am. But what do these Pokemon that represent the mind have to do with this red chain? And why exactly should it bind the world? Your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, uh, were the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, space, uh, time, and all creation exist only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let uh, one see creation as it truly is. I, what? So does the mind create the world? But isn't it the other way around, or is it? Such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh 
and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we'll get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident of success, uh, successes to which you contribute nothing. Uh, you tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. Yep, it's true. Volo's just a little tag along. And then, of course, we did heal up. So we got one more trial to do. Actually, two of them. Uh, let's head on over here to this one. Alabaster Icelands, because the Lake Acuity is over here, near Snowpoint Temple, so should be good. All right, let's go. Here we are. I'm going to pin this spot on the map. Let's find out exactly where that is. It is all the way over here in Lake Acuity. I didn't get any warps along the way, so it's going to be a long and arduous ride up there to Lake Acuity. No worries. Let's go. We don't have time to catch any Pokemon. We, the world is ending, and we have to go. I'm sure the Pokemon will understand. Oh, that's an Alpha Bunny. Oh my gosh. Oof! Ow, man! See, that's what I want to do. Like, eventually, I want to go through and catch all the Alpha Pokemon. Imagine if there was an Alpha Dex. Right? Can you imagine that? Like... There's a small, like, what, 2% chance that a Pokemon in a spawn spot will become an Alpha? There's a small 2% chance that that's the case. Can you imagine that? Alright, we're running up. Gligar, don't talk to me. Oh, there's a Snover. I don't have a Snover yet. I got an Obama Snow instead. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Here we are, Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Yuxi. When Yuxi took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. Uh, that's what the stories say, anyway. Alright, getting a text message from Dad. Dad? <laughs> I'm busy. Dude, put D&D &D on right now. We got, we got work to do. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. I wonder what waits inside. I imagine there may be Pokemon in there protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. Okay. There might be Pokemon inside. Go figure. I sense a chill in the air. What is this? Oh, a menacing Pokemon stands before you. Oh my gosh. I don't have any dark type moves outside of bite. Uh, could that be the dreaded baneful fox? Could it be the dreaded baneful fox? I don't know. Do I have crunch? I do have crunch. Thank you. Okay, so the crunch is probably going to be my best bet. I, um, I, I'm going to call that. That's the only weakness that this Pokemon has, is Crunch. So I'm going to try to bring you first. I mean, Vaporeon could probably do the work. Uh, I'll try to weaken it with Vaporeon, and then we'll bring in Luxray's Crunch. Okay, here we go. This is a cool design. Hisui and Zoroark is just like, it's menacing. It kind of reminds me of that uh, other Pokemon. Lycanroc. It reminds me of Lycanroc a lot. Nasty plot? Oh, we're done. That thing just nasty plotted up. We are done. I have a Calm Mind. So I'm just gonna do a Calm Mind. Just to, like, brace myself for the incoming attack. Alright, come on. We got this, Vaporeon. Oh, Agile Style. What are you doing? Shadow Claw? Wow, a big uppercut. That looked cool. And it was a crit? Oh, come on. 
Get it twice? I'm... I'm done. I cannot... I can't do anything. I'm just going to... Um, no effect. Yeah, we're gonna Water Pulse. That's all I got. The poor hand's gonna eat a Shadow Claw. It's like an uppercut. I tried. It's a very fast Pokemon. Um, so that's what we were kind of aiming for. Just to weaken it a little bit. So that we can bring in Luxray. And uh, potentially do a Crunch. That is going to be um, strong style to ensure the KO. Boom. Okay, there you have it. Strong style Crunch. Zoroark is defeated. Ooh, we're going to find one of those Pokemon soon. Vaporeon didn't get any experience, but that's okay. We're fine. The Baneful Fox. Uh, it is a Pokemon said to be filled with malice. Uh, we were told stories about it as children. You feel a mysterious presence. Ooh, who's here? Could be another legendary Pokemon. Is that Yuxi? Ah, Yuxi. I still remember when I caught a shiny Yuxi in Pokemon Sword and Shield. That was good. How did that even work? Come, I will test your knowledge. Oh, great. Uh, Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. Combi, Zubat, okay. How many are their eyes? Combi? Uh, can you repeat that? Sorry? Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. Combi has six eyes? Because there's like... Two, four, six, there's like three little comb, little bees. Zuba has no eyes. Unknown has one eye. Magneton has three eyes. Dusclops has one. So six, zero, six, zero, one, three, one. Six, zero, one, three, one. Six, zero, one, three, one. Okay, here we go. I'm ready to answer. Uh, six, zero, one, three, one. What's your dodo code? <laughs> Take this piece of spirit to bind the world once more. Hey, yeah, that was good. You see his claw is done. Goodness, that was tricky, but only one more to go now. That was good. I mean, it was a little tricky. I liked it. I liked it because, like, Zubat, you're thinking, oh, I mean, technically Zubat has two eyes somewhere, right? I, I don't think Zubat has any eyes. It turns into Golbat and it grows some eyes. I assume that went well. Still, I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain while it's running about? Perhaps they mean to test whether whoever seeks it is worthy. Perhaps you're right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands after all. Though on the other hand, what use would those wrong hands have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. The red chain's as mysterious as the entire predicament we're in. But if we continue visiting the lakes, we'll get closer to an answer. So shall we return to the home? Yes, let's go. Fast travel me right back over there. I'm good. Wonderful. Then we can see a mistress, uh, Kogita. Has any more insight to share with us? All right, Red Chain. So that's Yuxi's Claw. I sense a warmth to it. I do have to wonder if anyone else has ever completed the trials of these lake Pokemon. Indeed, yet uh, we may want to add just a dash more speed. Uh, things in Jubilife Village are tense. Uh, what makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon uh, has been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. Whoa! One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Kamado has raised a force not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it, should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants? You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now, if, if a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift... What would become of everyone, I wonder? 
Don't let Hisui's great vastness stop you, Abdallah. Let's go find the final item we need. That's a spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment unfold, too. Watch? Is that all you really do? Remember, once you've sought the third leg and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. Wow. Good stopping point. Or at least a good break point. That is intense. Okay, so we did two of the three trials. Uh, we have the next trial, which is going to be at Lake Valor with Azelf. A little bit stronger of a Pokemon. Um, so we'll see exactly what happens. Um, and then once we do that, what's going to happen to the Shrouded Ruins? Are we going to make a red chain? And then what happens to the red chain? Like, what, what, what does the chain do? Oh my gosh, so many questions to be answered. Join us, be there. It's going to be really fun. All right, thanks for coming. Yo, hello, peeps. What is up? Oh, hello. I saw Ashlyn come through. That was awesome. Uh, how many people here from uh, from Ashlyn's side of town? It's great. Thanks for hanging out. All of you guys that are chilling in the chat, hello. Come out of lurk mode. Say hi. What's up? It's good to see all of you guys. Uh, Vans, what's happening? Lorenzo. Kelly, hi. How are you? J-Mac, you still awake? Or are you just waking up early? I don't know. It's all good in the hood. Thanks for coming. Hi. I'm good tonight. I'm I'm getting a little tired. It's a little late. It's like 1030. I've been up early morning working on some content. So uh, I'm excited to see what happens with these uh, these upcoming battles. Um, what did we... We did two little episodes right now. So we got pretty much two more. So I think we could actually see the credits roll in the next hour. That's what I'm kind of... Um, I'm kind of hoping. It'll be, it'll be really good. Anyway, um, I got to go grab something really quick. And then we're going to get started on the final trial. And we're going to get started on the other stuff. Storm's Magic, hey, good to see you. How have you been? What's going on? Storm's Magic in the house. Hello, hello. Uh, give me give me like two seconds. I'm going to go grab something. And uh, we'll be right back. So if you guys have any questions or predictions. Actually, let's play a game. Let's play a game of all of you guys in lurk mode on YouTube, Twitch, whatever. What do you think is going to happen, right? When we make this chain, like, is everything going to be okay? What's going to happen? Predictions in the chat right now, those of you guys that do not, uh, didn't already look at spoilers or anything like that. Cody, I want to hear from you. Let's hear it. Okay, we are back. Hey, thanks so much for chilling. All right, you guys ready? Predictions, I'm reading some right now. Okay, uh, what predictions do we have? We got a happy birthday in the comments over here. Happy birthday to you. Um, dun, 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 dun. Elizabeth, cool. Uh, okay, Nickish uh, says, I guess Komodo's a bad guy and he's trying to frame the main character. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Um, Tristan says, I think Arceus is going to uh, send the main guy back to the actual world. 
what's considered the actual world? Hmm. Um, Emily says the Pokemon will come and attack you and you'll have to defeat the Pokemon. That's a pretty good one, too. Uh, Phil says things are going to be looking up and that's your opinion. Interesting. Hello. Uh, Delta Kid says uh, Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina will appear. Possibly. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out, won't we? All right. You guys ready? Let's hit this. Let's do this. And we might finish the game tonight. Welcome back, everyone. Hi, it's Abdali here with even more Pokemon Legends Arceus. As you can see, the sky is about to fall down. We are two-thirds of the way through getting all of these trials done. Let's go on over to the Meyerlands camp and see exactly what we have to do with this particular next lake. It's Lake Valor, home of our good friend, um, yeah, our good friend Azelf. So you can see over here, it's pulsating right now, so you can head on over that way. So. Should be really good. We haven't actually gone through the entire Crimson Mirelands with Braviary yet, so backtracking is going to be really, really fun. I honestly cannot wait. So anyway, flying through and let's hit this. Alright, let me see. I'm going to crack that open. Good job, Vaporeon. You're the best. 40 experience for you. No bears. No bears, just deers. Alright, here's the diamond camp. There we go, Lake Valor, we made it in record time. Boom. <laughs> Do you know about Lake Valor? Uh, it's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption much like Lake Verity, though uh, there are also other theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs uh, doing was born in people's hearts, or that's what the legend would lead us to believe. Alright, Dad, open up. <laughs> How does that work? Oh, a cave up here is where there was none, as if it's just for Abdallah. Hmm, let's head in. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon on Lake. Take care. Oh, did I not heal? No, 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 we're all healed. Okay, this is good. This is going to be one of the last, uh, last little trials here. Can we battle it? What an eerie space. Why would there be columns inside a cave anyway? Oh, hi there. A menacing Pokemon awaits before you. Ooh, watch yourself, doll. Those quills look vicious. Okay, so we've got a quill Pokemon over here. I guess you gotta be water poison, yeah? Quillfish, Hisuian Quillfish. Overquill? I love the name Overquill. I think that's the coolest name. Go Luxray! We got a very awesome Thunderfang coming right your way. No way! Okay, good. Strong style. I only got one shot at this, so we're going strong. Whoa, wait a second. You're not a water type? What? The heck? Overquill with bulldoze. Oh, I guess. Come on, Garchomp. Come on, little baby Garchomp. Do you have the strong style bulldoze? Yeah, you better. Go, do it. This Pokemon's been, like, eating up all the extra experience. You better get this KO. Th oh, my. Well... Now you don't get any experience. Here's Ice Ball? I'm sorry, Overquill. Uh, may I help you? I've never seen the move Ice Ball before. That's pretty great. I'm gonna go for, uh, Sylveon. Okay, so Overquill is indeed the... Dark Poison type. Wow, Dark Poison is a really good typing. Oh my gosh. 
Dark Poison. Uh, I'm just gonna hit you with the Dazzling Bird. Good job. Okay, Overquill. Lost. Dark Poison? What is that even weak against? Couldn't even tell you. Uh, I knew you could do it, Abdallah. You feel a mysterious presence. There you are. Hello. Look at that. Azelf. Yo. Shiny hundo Azelf over here. Show me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Okay. Wait, bombs? Are you meant to try to hit Azelf with them then? Where are you at? Oh, it must be nice teleporting like that. Come here. Practice. Whoa. Yeah, you're pretty good. Dang, Azel's really fast. You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? No. I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna hit you with one of these bombs, man. Catch these bombs. Catch these bombs, kid. Nope. It's a marsh bomb. Oh, he's lucky. I would have got him that time. You seem to hear a voice inside your head. It seems you had best give up. Will you continue regardless? Oh, I'm not through yet. We gotta keep going. I will hit him with one of these bombs. Just like this. Just like this. Oh, I almost pricked him going that way. Oh, close, close. I almost got him. You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Give up. You struggle in vain. Will you yet press on? Oh, I'm totally not done. I will hit you with one. That's right. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Got Azel's Fang, sweet. The being of willpower, right? So it was a test. It was a test to see if we had enough willpower to continue going even though uh, it seemed fruitless. It looked exhausting, but uh, now we've journeyed to all three lakes. Wow, cool. Really good. You know, when it comes down to it, I do wish that there were more gym and trainer battles in the game. But honestly, I'm okay with going around 90% of the game catching Pokemon. It seems we've finished up the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for these Shrouded Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let's be on our way. Okay. The Shrouded Ruins. Here we are. Look at that sky. Okay, the Shrouded Ruins. Alright, what do we have here? What is even on there? Uh, Mist is uh, is so very good at obscuring things. It's... Uh... It's long bits of to blur boundaries. I'm like looking at these. One of these looks like Regigigas for sure. Uh, if we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. You've arrived just when we'd assemble all three gifts. Did you somehow see our progress across the distance dividing us? I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. You just blame it on Pokemon? That's your excuse? Okay. Uh, could you mean that Pokemon that uh, flits about in the Hisui region? Uh, but never mind that now. Uh, what about the red chain? How are we to forge it? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it could be forged by mortal hands? 
Then what are we to do? Search the entire vastness of Hisui for the answer? What are these icons? Ah, the Pokemon of Lakes. Hey, guys. You received the red chain. He just gave it to us. So it was true, the pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. You've succeeded once again, Abdallah. Yet things don't seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What have you heard now? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to cl climb Mount Coronet himself. Has he lost his senses? He plans to get close to the rift to study it himself? Well, he doesn't yet know that our Abdallah has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's true, there's no way he could. We need to tell him about the chain and about everything Abdallah has achieved before he sets out. Wow. Yeah, I hope we get all those, like, um those hieroglyphs to actually be a Pokemon in the game. Abdallah? You just happen to be standing there? As I'm running through town. Welcome back. It's been grim here. We in the Survey Corps hardly even speak to one another lately. But with you back, maybe Captain Silence's appetite for potato mochi will return. Anyway, wait here a minute, will you? I'll go and let the Captain know you're back. Yo, I've been banned from this town. Like, how am I? Oh, my dear Abdallah. The professor has been awfully worried about you, Abdallah. Of course I was worried, but I don't think I can uh, hold a candle to the distress you showed, Akari. Uh, that's blowing it out of proportion. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make things up just to hide their embarrassment. <laughs> but uh, where's the captain? Wasn't she coming along with you, professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the Survey Corps office. It seems her hands are more than full now that Commander Kamado is gone. Yeah, he's not here, huh? Well, he set off for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps in tow. Uh, he's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. That's why I was filling in for the regular guards, with Pikachu at the ready. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside the uh, let's head inside and report it to the captain. Okay, so we we're allowed inside the town simply because the captain's not here. This is good. So you managed uh, not to die just as I ordered. Well done. Thanks to you, Captain. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Abra vanished off on its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. I love her. Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you're here again because you've managed to learn uh, something of use. Yeah, I got this red chain. Floats around. Spins. Go on! Ah, uh, you explain about the red chain. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilife Village. The Security Corps had been scouting the area near the space-time rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it, something that resembled a Pokémon. The Commander made the decision to take the Security Corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. However strong the Commander himself may be, he should have gotten Abdallah to help. As the Captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Abdallah, take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all of this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Okay. Brand new mission. I don't know if we're going to make it. This is going to be really tough. Are you certain you can do that with the commander away, Captain? Uh, 
Uh, if he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested uh, you should stay. All right, anyway. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get out of here. And I need a lot of healing items. Would someone please give me a max revive? Who the heck are you? What are all these things? Who's this little girl? Are you an actual quest? I don't want to talk to a girl if you're a quest. No, I'm not going to talk to Cece. Okay, what am I? I need to. I need to craft like max revives over here. Is there one of them? Ox evasion, uh, dire hit, ox power guard. I'm gonna craft ox power guard. I love that item. Ox power guard is good. Uh, ox guard, ox power. Yep. Uh, salt cake, bean cake, honey cake, sticky glob, remedy, fine remedy, uh, full heal, max revive. Twenty five thousand to craft max revive. Oh my gosh, help me. 25,000 for that? Oh, all right. I don't know if I've been actually good at crafting. Oh, wow, look at that. I can craft one max revive. And I can craft a bunch of these, but I don't have any king's leaves. That's one of the things. Maybe he sells king's leaves? Do you sell king's leaves? You don't sell king's leaves. Okay, who does? The Ginkgo Guild? Tell me you sell King's Leaves. Oh, a thousand bucks a piece? One, two, three. I'm broke. <laughs> I'm broke. Oh, could you? And I need like Ox Power. So this is gonna be like, I gotta prepare myself. I have not grinded out a team at all. And I just wanna be ready. I just wanna be ready for this. Um, you guys remember the Elite Four in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It was really hard, right? This is going to be very hard. All right, so I'm going to make one of these. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make two of these. Okay, so I have three max revives. I'm going to make a couple of these because I can. Great. Uh, this is a super potion. Oh, cool. Great. We'll do it. Three hyper potions. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Wait, a super potion and what? And a vivichoke? Oh, I got four of those. Good. And then we're going to do a... Yeah, we're going to craft a lot. There's a lot of healing items right over that way. Wow. Okay. We're preparing. If uh, if we need to battle, then we're going to we're gonna go all out, man. As far as our team goes, I mean, our team is our team. It's not the best team. I didn't procure it. I didn't craft the only Pokemon that I'm really excited about is Vaporeon. Did you find the Commander, Abdallah? The Commander is already a Mount Coronet. Already? How could a grown man like Commander, Commander Mato, Kamado be so reckless? First expelling you, Abdallah, and now this. I think he needs a stern talking to. As the leader of the Pearl Clan, loyal to Almighty Sinnoh who reigns over all space, I can go anywhere in Vasasui that I please, and now I'm going to stop the commander. Huh, who's the reckless one? Oh, hello. Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still tried to fi find a way to help us all? That's right, Abdallah worked hard to get that red chain to help us. Too right, and a fine job he did too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Thanks, here, take this. Thank you. I'll add it to the pile. She's like, here, you'll need this. Your orders are three. Make for the summit, from there to the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here, alive. Okay, that's great. I will do that. Yeah, let's take a look, let's take a look. Yeah, missions are all over the place, so I'll show you what, a mission, what mission we're currently on. 
Uh, I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the Galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions for me to celebrate. Well, thank you. I actually do need those. Thank you. I got some hyper potions, but not good enough. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last. No doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamant and Narita have uh, headed to the peak as well. My good friend Abdallah, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved royal, loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up a shop closer to the temple itself. Alright, guy. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Meli will be here, for moral support at least. No, I don't accept any moral support from you. All right, all right, Vaporeon, let's let's go. You're gonna lead this team. Um, Ox Power Guards, I bought that a, I bought that list, or that little recipe. I don't have, oh, I do have a sword cap. No, I have zero sword caps and zero pep-up plants, so I couldn't even make one if I tried. Iron Bark Tons and Peppa Plants, I haven't really been focusing on that. I may need to go get those. <sighs> not right now, not right now. I think we'll I think we'll be okay. We'll make it, we'll make it. If there's a will, there's a way, am I right? Yo, that's a Luxray. If there's an Elekid, I stop for Elekids. If there's an Elekid, I absolutely stop for small children named Elekid. Right. I'm abducting that child right now. You're coming with me. Yay! <laughs> Yay! That's a rare spawn. That's a rare spawn. I stop for Ella kids. You see that, huh? Isn't that funny? My funny guy? Get in here. Alright. We got this. Let's go Vaporeon. You're gonna do it for us. Who's here? Who's this? Hello? Greenbeard. Oh, still alive and kicking. It's Benny. The guy that feeds us potato mochi all the time. Good to see you. Oh, sorry about having to shudder uh, the wallflower. I'd uh, much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that taskmaster, Kamado, has gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you once and for all. Uh, are you serious? I don't understand. Dude, he hated me from the first moment he saw me. I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds Kamado can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound. At last, at last! One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these long years. Ah, uh, hi? Hadouken! Oh my gosh, Hadouken. Um, I, I got Shadow Ball. I'm good. Let's go, Vaporeon. Let's show him how it's done. Benny, you ninja. Oh, you got a Shadow Ball? Ow! That's not good. I gotta get out of here. I don't have a strong style. I should be using, like, a Seat of Mastery. No way you're gonna survive that. Oh, come on! 
You're using a max potion? Okay, cool. I need a strong style. I gotta use some seeds of mastery. Oh! Go, crit! No, oh, gosh. Vaporeon! Oh my gosh, you're still alive? Good. Oh, I can get a free Calm Mind right now, which is what I should have done first turn. This dark cave. Come on, Vaporeon, you got this. Yeah, Shadow Ball's perfect. Goodbye. He used a max potion on his Miss Magius. Get out of here. I think I might use a potion on my Pokemon, too. Or Vaporeon just... Okay. What? Okay, so... No! How are you getting two moves? That's cheating! That's such cheating, man. I was gonna heal. There's no... There's no law here. Um... So he's got close combat. I'm just gonna bring out Banana. Because uh, I need a Psychic move. That's unbelievable. Um, if I do that, I'm gonna eat two moves. But if I do that, I'm just gonna eat one. So I'm just gonna eat one right now. Let's go Extra Sensory. Okay, that's perfect. Good. You can't get two moves, man. Gardevoir? Oh gosh. What are you doing? You don't have Shadow Ball. Psychic? And then a Calm Mind. Well, well, well. Offensive and defensive stats raised. Must be nice. And I can't do Agile style quick free hypnosis, but all I got is a Shadow Ball. And here's hoping that I can go in with a Shadow Ball and then proceed with a Crunch from Luxray. Banana! Okay, I need this big crunch. Otherwise I lose. No way, you're fairy type. I forgot you're half fairy type. You're half fairy type. Come on, Sylveon. Sylveon and who? Gabite? Oh gosh, help me. That Gardevoir is a threat. Oh my gosh, we're so severely underleveled right now. Okay, Gallade. Psycho Cut. Ow! Uh, I could do Shadow Ball or Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam is going to be same type, uh, same type super effective, so let's go. Please survive this next hit. Decidueye, man. You got this. You got this, Decidueye. These Pokemon are hard. This is going to be a strong style air slash for the win. Wow. Done. Was that hard or what? I had a Gabite. Uh, a very severely underleveled Gabite on the team. I need to do something to swap out that thing. It seems my ninja techniques will soon be uh, consigned to history. Benny, man. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. At least uh, for the skill you show in battle. But listen, Will Abdallah, Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That is why Kamado came here to Hisui to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, sometimes you have to take extreme actions. If, hypothetical as it may be, 
a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself by force if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. Did you heal my Pokemon? Good. I can't afford that, man. Okay, yeah, Benny was rough, man. If you thought Benny was rough, I'm done. There's no way I'm gonna win. There's no way I'm gonna win this next battle. Oh, gosh, why did I even walk through here? Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, there's that. Which Pokemon are on my team? Gabite's, Gabite is not doing anything. He's terrible. He's level 39. Literally, Vaporeon is like twice his level. What the? This team, man. Banana's got to do some work. All right, Decidueye, let's take a look really quick. What moves you got? Uh, Magical Leaf, Leafage, Aura Sphere. You have a fighting move that's like that. You got Brave Bird. Uh, you could do a Brave Bird. Leaf Blade versus Magical Leaf. I mean, you're more of an attacker, yeah? Uh, your attack set, oh, is way better than your special attack by 30. So any physical attacks are probably best. So uh, Air Slash versus... Yeah, I'm going to do Aerial Ace versus Air Slash. I'm going to swap that out because it's based off his physical attack stat, even though the base power is a little, a little the same. Uh, Brave Bird would be ideal, but it also gives me recoil damage. So there's that, and I don't need recoil damage with this character. All right, we're going to confirm that. We're going to try our best with this team that we have. I, I don't know if we're going to win, but uh, we're going to definitely try. We'll definitely try. Okay. Um... Before we even go over there, I think this is a great pausing point. Let's pause. Oh my gosh. So, Benny, of course, uh, had a grudge from the very beginning. He's like, we don't serve outsiders like you. And then, of course, we found out that he was uh, Commander Kamado's right-hand man, ordered to take us out. He even donned a ninja outfit to eliminate us. What a guy. All right. So only up ahead is going to be Commander Kamado, and we've got strict uh, rules to stay alive and save Kamado from himself by any means necessary. So come on, Vaporeon, do the heavy lifting. We need you. All right, all right. Well, let's continue on. Let's continue on. How are we going to do this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. We might actually lose. Like, I'm just going to throw that out there. We might lose. It's okay, though. Woo! Oh, my God. I'm trying to think. Vaporeon's great. I love this alpha Vaporeon. I am... I'm going to do a little prep. I'm just going to do a very, very small amount of prep. I'm going to go back to Highlands Camp. Because I, I think I have a lot of grit items, and I think I'm just going to use them. I'm going to use my grit items on my jumbo-sized Vaporeon. He's going to be amazing. All right, thank you, Professor. I got to go back to camp. I got to go talk to that move tutor. Ah, oh, man. I really... I kind of want to boost up my, my golden shiny balloon. Like, banana's good. But, like... If you don't get your moves in first, and it's lawlessness as far as... Dude, where are you? What happened? Oh man, where's Zisu at? Uh oh. Oh, Zisu's not here. That's fine. Um. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, things that I need. Things that I need. Just, just preparing a final prep. Stardust don't need. I need these mushrooms and salts. I do not need snowballs. I do not need. Uh, things that I do need. Seeds of mastery is what I needed, man. You got to give it, um, let me, let me see if I can move them all at once. I got a couple of them and all of these things is going to be perfect. So we're going to move all at once. Remember grit items are really, really good. Can I use a seed of mastery right now? No, I have to give it to, oh, it's so bad. <laughs> I got to give it to Zisu, but Zisu is nowhere to be found at least right now. All right, so here we go. Um, what we're going to do first is I'm going to use some of these on Vaporeon to boost Vaporeon's special attack stat as far as the effort level goes. Um, and then of course defense. I don't need to boost the attack stat, so I'm not gonna worry about that. 
Uh, so we're trying to improve that. I do have these grit items to give Vaporeon here for uh, special attack. I have six of them, right? Two. Three. Okay, so masked out special attack. Here goes defense. And then I got one more for special defense, which is great. Okay, perfect. I got grit pebbles. So Vaporeon can... Um, I can use it right over here for special attack. One two three okay that's good that's really that's a good start vaporia now is at level nine for special attack so this is beautiful uh tell me that you sell yeah you do sell these great 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 i'll buy i'll buy five of them four of them here watch bark tongue oh i need money oh so this is the prep work that I'm just going to do in the meantime. Remember earlier I did, uh, I bought the recipe for Ox Potions. Uh, there is a reason for that because like we definitely need that. And I do need to sell some stuff. I need to sell some of these. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to sell some of my Stardust because I need to buy some other things. As much as I don't like selling Stardust, I may have to. Because you could craft Stardust into Star Pieces, which is uh, exactly that. So I need some Ox Power. Okay, hold on, hold on. Other items, here we go. So I can craft a... Yeah, I can do this. I can craft two of those. And then I need two, four Sword Caps? Yeah, I need four Sword Caps. And... Two King's Leaves. Four sword caps and two king's leaves? Man, I should just go, like, finding them in the overworld. This is, like, highway robbery. All right, uh, two king's leaves. Uh, four, what did I say? Sword caps? Okay. I think we're ready. I, th I think we're ready. This crafting is pretty intense. And trust me, you're going to want to learn how to craft this stuff, too, because you're going to need it. All right, Ox Powers. So now I've got the ability to make Ox Power Guards. So an Ox Power Guard is like first turn, you can use it, and then you're going to give your Pokemon like uh, plus, plus two attack, plus two defense, plus two special defense, plus two special attack. You get like plus two in everything pretty much. Uh, and that's going to be a great way of just like being ready for this battle. First turn, you just use it, and you're buffed. And you just, boom, you're golden. So uh, we're going to see about that. We're going to see how that's going to work out. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm uh, I'm trying. I'm trying something new here. Ooh, this prep work is scary. Here's Electabuzz. See, no Elekid, but Mag, uh, what's his name? Electivirus here. I mean, I could go try to catch some new uh, Pokemon, right? You can go catch some new Alphas and replace the Gibble. <laughs> Alright, get ready. Here's hoping. I know you guys are all cheering for me, right? You guys are cheering for me. All right, all right. Let's take a look. Just double checking our items over here. Two Ox Power Guards. I don't have strong and agile style moves for Vaporeon here. Um, I'm going to check moves. Just double checking. Bubble, you got anything better than that? I do have Calm Mind, which is amazing for him. I don't really know. Calm Mind, Banana, uh, Luxray, let's see what you got. Thundershock, Thunder Wave, Thunder. Yeah, I got a lot of Elemental Fangs here. I mean, the Elemental Fangs are good. They'll work out. Decidueye is already set. Goodbye. Pfft, this thing. Earth Power is absolutely not. Dragon Claw, yes. Thank you. Didn't realize. Uh, Dragon Claw, Twister, Double Edge. Double Edge is strong. That's 100 by base power. But, I mean, no, we're good. Okay, let's go. I may need to rely on this little baby dragon that we've been raising. I may need to. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. Ooh, I am ready. Let's go. 
Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdali here. We are at almost at the very top of the top of uh, Temple of Sinnoh. And we're at a point where all of our Pokemon have to go into battle. So here's hoping that we're going to be able to figure it out. You better take that red chain up to the top of the mountain, says Adamin. That Pokemon threatening to descend on the peak any moment now. I think it may be Almighty Sinnoh. But all this has to be stopped, and you're the only one who can do it. Almighty Sinnoh seems to be nearly there, but still, the commander obstructs us. Wow, the commander obstructs us. Talk sense into Commander Kamado at the peak of Mount Coronet. Oh, there you are, Zisu. I got two seeds of mastery. I need your help. You again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. I welcome uh, a welcome idea, but uh, can I truly put my faith in such tales? Trust me. Is that going to work? Commander, please be reasonable. I understand that you're bound to protect your people as commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I have the same duty towards my clan. But doubting Abdal like this, you're not just wrong, you're a fool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Perhaps you are right. But if I were to simply place my faith in this boy, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? You may think you're the only one desperate to protect the people of Jubilife, but you're not. Abdallah's putting his life on the line as well. Fine, enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, Abdallah. Today, we battle in earnest. Okay. Kamado challenge you to a battle. Look at him. Four Pokemon. Raviary. Ooh, Psychic. Psychic Flying? Come on, Big Vaporeon. You got this. You got this. Go, go, go. All right, I got some icy wind coming your way. Or I got a big shadow ball, which is way stronger. Yeah, yeah, let's let's toss a shadow ball. Or let's call mind up. Or throw a uh, an ox power guard. We talked about that before, didn't we? What does it say? Sharply boosts. Yeah, let's go. Ox power guard time, baby. Let's go, Vaporeon. You got this. Esper Wing, cool move, bro. How much move was that? Uh, no, that wasn't a lot. But doing it twice kind of hurts. Just a little bit. I need rest or something. Yo, you got two moves on that, man. Get out of here. One hit, you're done. Goodbye, Braviary. That's one fourth down. Ox Power Guards, man. Snorlax, oh gosh, help me. He's coming right for me. Um, I got two moves coming at you, Snorlax. That's not enough. That's not enough damage. It's like a four-hit KO. And he's using a max potion for one turn. That's terrible. He's stalling out my Ox Power Guard. Giga Impact! Ow! Oh man, I got two I got two water pulses coming. This needs to be max damage. No, my offensive stats back to normal. Ah, oh, my ox power guard. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's gonna go Giga Impact, you think? And he's got high horsepower. I think this is a perfect switch. That's two moves that he's not gonna touch me with. All right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna go... No, I 
I can't do that. Yeah, I don't get any extra move turns. All right, let's go Mystical Fire. Lower his offensive stats a little bit here. Yeah, let's go regular Mystical Fire. That was no damage. Zen Headbutt? Ow, oh, man. Twice? How is Snorlax going twice? Ugh. Why can't I do Agile Style to go faster twice? Oh, here we go. If I do Agile Style Extra Sensory, I'll get an extra move. Oh my gosh, Snorlax is a threat. There we go. Okay, half his team is down. Good, this is perfect. Things are going fine. Vaporeon did pretty good. I was not expecting two Zen headbutts from a Snorlax. Here comes Golem. Oh gosh, Stealth Rock. Ow! Okay, you know what? We'll play Golem. We'll play Golem. You want, you want some of this? What do I got for Golem? I got a Magical Leaf. Or I got Vaporeon over here. Let's go, man. Alright, let's go. Here it is, Water Pulse, you're done. Although, I should have seen if I could do an Agile Style Calm Mind before that. That would have been a smarter play. Clefable? You can't go first! <laughs> oh my gosh, Calm Mind's gonna hurt. This is ridiculous, these move turns. I don't like this battle system in this game at all. I'm gonna run away. Alright, well, Vaporeon, you did great. You knocked out two and a half Pokemon. Good work. Uh, Clefable? I don't have any moves for it. I don't have any super effective moves against Clefable here. I think I might lose. Yeah, I don't have any Steel-type or Poison-type moves in my entire team. There's that. I gotta stall out this Calm Mind. I gotta do something. Ice Fang may leave you with a Frostbite. I mean, I just have to do work. I can do an Agile style, just a little bite, just a little nibble. It's gonna do like 10 damage, but I'll get two turns in. Oh gosh. Wow, get paralyzed. Oh my gosh. With the paralysis? Oh, this is great. This is great. We're going to do another agile style, and then we're going to... Uh, we're going to finish off. Oh, that was a lucky paralysis. Oh my gosh. And then we're going to do a strong style, and then Glyphable's done. That was pretty, pretty lucky. Just throwing that out there. That was very lucky. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Wow, my Balloon needs some help. 10,000 experience for that battle. Ugh, balloon did not get it. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Wow. Dang. Abdallah, the fates have decided I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander Kamado? I know I have no right to ask you uh, any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. Don't you worry, Commander. We've got the Red Chain. Did you heal my Pokemon? Thank you. Okay. Red Chain. You guys ready? Some big hype. That was a hard battle. If you thought that was hard, oh my gosh. Get ready. Zisu. Tell me you have... Oh my gosh. Zisu. My favorite tall person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Meeting of the Minds? Come on, now's the time. Use the red chain. Wait, wh what is this? Uh, there's a voice in my head. No, in my heart. It's speaking to me. 
You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then. Well, Arita, do you hear what you're saying? Catch you? Almighty Sinnoh? I think Almighty Sinnoh may be speaking to me. It's telling me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then. For the fight to come. Take these. Ten Ultra Balls. Great. Cool. Red chain. Wow. Who's coming? Almighty Sinnoh, is that you? chain much? What happened? Okay. Here we go. Spatial rend. First turn. Oh my gosh, I even hit ate a bit of that. Um, I don't have any moves that's gonna do good damage against this guy. Um, I could do a Shadow Ball. But otherwise, Vaporeon is uh, gonna get owned. Actually, you know what? I could do a Calm Mind. Maybe I can do a Agile Style Calm Mind. Which I can. Great. Agile Style Calm Mind. Sixty-five. We're gonna go over here for a Shadow Ball. That's all I got. Cool. I'll do that again. Win. Don't crit, don't crit. Okay, cool. I'm gonna throw an Ultra Ball. Spatial Rend, I'm done. Later, Vaporeon. Yo, this thing is rending all the space right now. Vaporeon took four of those. That's really, really good. Alright, Spatial Rend. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go Sylveon. Good luck. I'm a fairy type. Your dragon moves are gonna touch me. Uh, but anyway, speaking of uh, not touching me, what do you think? First try Ultra Ball? First try Ultra Ball, yeah? Let's go. What? Good, you better miss that, Palkia. Uh, let's try again. Second try Ultra Ball. Thank you. Ugh. All right, well, that was fun. Good job, Vaporeon, don't worry. You did very well. He caught it, right? Uh, he caught Almighty Sinnoh. Yeah, the red chain's been shattered, but we've still got the Pokemon of the lakes to thank for getting this far. Uh, well done, Abdallah, my boy. Masterfully handed. I was watching the whole time as you battled and caught your way to a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Looks like I taught him well. Ah, I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, it's, it's called Palkia. Mighty Palkia is speaking to me in my mind. Space-time grows chaotic. The power fails, the frenzied one. It comes now to fight. That is why I'm here. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Abdallah could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that one now. Huh? 
Hello. Hi. Yeah, we got to get out of here. Yo, that thing is frenzied. He's not golden frenzied, though, so what's the deal? Googie Gooba. Bagua. Yep. Someone manually had to type that out. <laughs> All of you, we must vacate this. God, forget the fancy talk. Book it. Come on, we got to make for that summit cap. While we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. But, Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce, you won't be uh, any use to anyone if you die up here on this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. Dude, I could take him. I have a Sylveon. Oh wait, Sylveon might eat an iron tail or a flash cannon and die in two seconds. Yeah, this is true. Okay, good idea. Yeah, very good idea. Such dreadful power, it's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, Abdallah. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seemed likely that a buildup of the same energy uh, was what caused a strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. So our two clans truly were following different almighty Sinnoh, but both were real. What a shocking turn of events. To say nothing of the shock of hearing the commander speak so differently. <laughs> yeah, he's like, dude, I gotta go. You gotta get gone, he says. I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To the both of you, as fellow leaders, you saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Abdallah. And to you, Abdallah, I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of his Sui. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had uh, reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professional. You'd uh, rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I expected from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions, not to mention my loss of composure. It seems that having Abdallah about has been a good influence on all. That's only natural. Abdallah is strong enough to defeat even this new opponent single-handedly. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Did you forget that the red chain broke? I will be all right. Armed with the knowledge mighty Palkia imparted to me. Palkia? The Pokemon that talked to you? Yeah, it told me its name, but that's not all. It also told me this. The Stone of Creation's Beginning. The Chain of Red. The Vessel of Humankind's Invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now disturbing the flow of time. And then Mighty Palkia must go with us back to the temple, it said. Well, that chain of red is in pieces now, but if little bits will do, I gathered those. And the vessel of humankind's invention, I dare say that might refer to a Pokeball. That's got to be it. But what about that Stone of Creation's beginning part? Uh, Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals, and he even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Warden Leon will be a fine resource to consult. And what are your thoughts, Professor Laventon? Do you have any idea of what this stone could be? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Abdallah, my boy, could you lend me those plates you received from Werdir and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them. The plates! Right? Is that what we're doing? Ah, uh, just as I remembered, here on the back of the earth plate it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. And I think this may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? 
Don't you see, we must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Lian might know just where to find such a thing, as uh, he said he's been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow's come around to the diamond settlement asking about those plates before, too. This seems like a lead worth following. It's decided then, thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning. Although the name is uh, rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say? I propose we call it Origin Ore. Okay, uh, yeah, we're taking a look at all these missions and whatnot. Irida, may we ask you for your clan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call Lee into the summit camp at once. Alright, give me control of the character. I forgot to do a mission check, so let me take a look and see where we're at. I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with unsolicited vi with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Ooh, now Adamant, I see those other louts have their little tasks to be getting on with. But what about the great Melly? Where's my role in all this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shredder mis shred of respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adamin, and make it a good one. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adamin. Oh, 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 you silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they are suited to and work they are not. And oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all galaxy team grunt well done you take this as a reward for your adorable efforts just my way of encouraging the little people and you're all so little compared to me <laughs> oh three candy truffles thank you i mean wow that's really helpful melly's the worst i brought leon Yeesh, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. <laughs> I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. Wow. Uh, Hisui's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleaver in battle. Uh, with that bumbling ball of yours. Yo, fight, fight, fight. Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Fight, fight, fight. Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adaman... Uh, everyone back home is all worked up because the Pearl Clan got to speak to Almighty Sinnoh or Palkia or whatever. Did you want them to hog all the glory? Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. Then let us out at once. We make for the Primal Grotto. All right. Primival Grotto. Uh, right over here you can see it's flashing, so let's head on over to it. Double pin, baby. Yeah, Melly is the actual worst. Melly was making fun of uh, little Leon's hat. Dude, Leon's a small child. Come on. Oh, I need that. That's 250 bucks. This is a King's Leaf. You can see these from a mile away. Thank you. One does not simply walk past that. And here is the... Here's the thing, right? Is this it? Yeah, Primeval Grotto. Got you. Who are these Pokemon? Don't care. Got it. Is this the Origin Ore? What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here, as if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of my Sligoo's moves, I think you'd better leave any uh, extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? 
We're gonna have to ask you to stop right there. Prepare for trouble! Oh, come on, who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Clover? We haven't seen you since you walked out on the clan. Where have you been all this time? Huh, I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if you were hard to follow. What we seek may be as precious as treasure, but this isn't about how valuable it is. We needed to restore this awful sky to normal. Uh, that Ernest Goody Two-Shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Yo, we've got an ex-Pearl and an ex-Diamond here. Enough, I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit, but I won't let you get into Leon's way. Uh, there are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Abdallah. You take Charm. Do I like Charm? I think Charm's my favorite. Yeah, I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone across our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky Charm, especially in this battle of a lifetime. Alright, Charm, let's go! And make it double. Alright, come on, I gotta get this origin ore. Like, dude, I got a, I got a Dialga emergency happening right now. And I somehow have Gabite coming out. Cool. Level 61 Rhydon versus a Gabite. Like, awesome. Good job. You're not going to get any experience. But okay, we're going to click on Pokemon. There's only two Pokemon here, so I'm just going to switch into Vaporeon and hit it in one hit. Free switch! Remember, there's no rules in Hisui about battle turns. Free switch? Hey, free switch! I'm in. See you later. Goodbye. Boom! Rhydon does not survive that four times super effective hit. Sorry. Gengar. Oh, I got a Shadow Ball waiting for you. Oh, you got one too? Ow! Dude, that's a free hit. And my defensive stats are lowered. I'm done. I don't have a... I need a Seed of Mastery for this. Or I don't, because I knock you out in one hit, because it's it's Alpha Vaporeon. Best Pokemon. Don't talk to me. Well, you are rather formidable. Good thing I switched out Kabite. Because he got 5,000 experience for that, so good work. He's trying to get a Garchomp. Come on, Clover, why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing, we're changing, and we could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place, with all its stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you'd better do something about that sky. You're as strong as ever, Abdallah. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature atop the mountain. But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. Okay. Well. Honestly, those three... Uh, what did they even come here for? Oh well, I'll heal everyone's Pokemon. Thank you. Nice of you. The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need... Even if she growls as she did so, I suspect they may have been worried about us, perhaps even wanting to help. Then they should have just said so. What a pain they are, hiding behind all that attitude. Sligu, does Sligu have any arms? Oh yeah, he's got little baby arms, okay. I was able to extract some of the origin ore, or whatever you wish to call it. I suppose it'd better go with you, Abdallah. Hi. A piece of the origin ore. We got a piece of the red, uh, the red chain, and yeah, Pokeball? Uh, that was surprisingly easy. No, you simply failed to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. I knew we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleaver recognizes you as a worthy warden. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Leviton's got sound judgment plus knowledge to spare, despite his silly streak. Okay, uh, let's go to Leviton. Where is he at? Um, are you back here? Oh yeah, Leviton is back here, so we just warp. Okay, good. Leviton's chilling at the summit camp. Alright, what's up, dude? Yo, we got the origin ore. How do we know it was exactly there? I mean, Leon is just so good. 
Okay, so this is the Stone of Creation's beginning, the origin aura. Ah, yes, uh, one can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask uh, since you brought that up, but uh, the origin of what exactly? Of everything by the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, back we go to Jubilee Village. Cool. Origin Aura. All right, Mr. Professor, it's all in pieces now, but this is uh, what's left of the red chain. Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it's still perfectly fit for purpose. Uh, we're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all these broken bits back at the temple. Your turn, Abdallah. Uh, next comes the Stone of Creation's beginning. You handed over the Origin Aura. The fragments of the red chain collected at great personal risk by the Diamond Clan, then the Stone of Creation's beginning, which we only learned of thanks to the Pearl Clan. And now it's time for the Galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Akara, my girl, uh, you're one of our team's greatest craftspeople. Could I ask you to do the honors? Absolutely. It's my true battlefield, Abdallah, even if it may be safe indoors. This may take some time. Perhaps the rest of you had best wait outside while we work. Okay, so they're going to be crafting all night. Come on, Mr. Professor. I wish they'd hurried up in there. I'm starting to suspect all your prattling about the value of time as a cover for your own impatience. Sitting back and waiting actually solve things. I'd sit forever uh, because uh, that'd be using time well, unlike this. We've done it, Abdallah. It's complete. I dub it the Origin Ball. The message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed. If it can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. All right, look at this cool Pokeball. It kind of looks like a Cherish Ball. All right, a singular and irreplaceable Pokemon that can be used to catch these frenzied Pokemon raging at the Temple of Sinnoh in the Origin Ball. These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of Hisui could rest in something so tiny. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things brings the two of you closer together. Wait, please, I hear something. That voice is speaking in my mind again. You mean Palkia? Yeah, it appears that mighty Palkia is willing to lend its own strength to us in battle. Oh, now that's what I like to hear. The Pearl Clan's almighty Sinnoh, well, I guess I should just call it Palkia, is one fierce Pokemon. Everything's ready now, Abdallah. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Palkia. Wow, 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 wow. Prepare well, then make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Okay, okay. You know what that means. The Palkia, we gotta go get him. We go get Palkia and put him on our team. He's over in the pastures, isn't he? He's chilling. Oh, maybe something's going to happen when I walk outside. Um, oh, no, no. Good, good, good. No, I don't want to go to the front gate yet. I'm going to go a long way. <laughs> I'm going to go a long way. Dude, this is so good. All these requests are just waiting. They're like, hey, man, you haven't helped us out any. This is great. We made it. All right, here, here. Come on. Tell me Palky is inside here. Is he here? Oh, you are. Hello. Well, who's going to get the swap? Uh, this Gibble, of course. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Thank you. Okay, perfect stopping point right here. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, great cliffhanger, I know. We have Palkia. We have the Origin Ball. We. Oh, my. hey, hey, easy. Easy. I'm ending off the episode. Uh... Palkia, Origin Ball. We're just going to head on up and go see what Dialga wants. Uh, I think Dialga wants a piece of us, but we are prepared and ready to go. It's going to be amazing, so don't miss it on the next exciting episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yay. Wow. Wow. Talk to me about that.
<laughs> Talk to me about that. What a cliffhanger. No, seriously, we're all going to bed. It's, uh, it's pretty late. Um, so we're going to head to bed and, uh, tomorrow, join us tomorrow, uh, where we're going to go through and finish off the game. This is, uh, honestly the end. This is the end and then post game happens and then there's a lot happening in post game now. So, uh, this is great. Thank you so much for watching all of you guys at home. Thanks for being here. I see you, Steph, Mel, uh, Game Kim, uh, Emily, Hudson, uh, Whimsy, Lorelai. Always a pleasure seeing you. Shout out to our mods. Uh, J Mac, Alana, Biwa, all of you guys that are here. Uh, Jazz, good to see you. Gracie, all of you guys. Uh, Christy, S Luna, everyone. Thanks for hanging out today, seriously. Um, so, if we didn't already take a look at it, man. Woo! This day, this day is a long day, huh? My goodness. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Uh, Caroline, DigiGirl, uh, T Man, it was absolutely very fun. So, anyway, uh, so tons happening on the channel again. Uh, so if you haven't already seen what we've been working on uh, non-stop for the past literal week um, is a whole bunch of guides for you. Uh, guides that tell you about everything in the game. So we're going to get on there and make some more guides tomorrow morning. Um, this is our entire playlist. So if you haven't already started from the beginning to watch every single thing, they're about like two and a half hours a piece. They're really fun. It's a great time. Um, and we just finished up part five. Uh, so yeah, part six is happening now. That's what we're doing here. Part seven is going to be the end. And then it's just going to be post-game. We're going to go catch a bunch of legendaries and try to fill up the Pokedex. It'll be so fun. So anyway, uh, you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, also, I saw a bunch of you guys picked up some of the merch. Uh, yeah, dressed like a legend right over here. You guys can get the legend tee. Um, yeah, all these uh, merch purchases over 20 bucks gets a free video shout-out. Kind of like a cameo. I get to say thank you. It's really fun. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm going to go to bed and see you guys bright and early tomorrow for some more uh, tips and tricks tutorials. Have a great rest of your day. And... Uh, Take it easy. Let me know what you thought.